St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Gatineau, Quebec. This Mass is offered with the prayer that all God's children will experience God's infinite love for each and every one of us also in thanksgiving for all the blessings received and that we may always be more thankful than requesting. Your gift enables people all across Canada to participate in this celebration. On their behalf, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of God, the love of Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin our celebration, let us recall that we are in the presence of the risen Christ and that we do need his continuing mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Elijah arose, a prophet like fire, and his word burned like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! Whose glory is equal to yours? You raised a corpse from death and from Hades by the word of the Most High. You sent kings down to destruction and famous men from their sick beds. You heard rebuke at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb. You anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you. You were taken up by a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with horses of fire. At the appointed time, it is written, you are destined to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the hearts of parents to their children, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy are those who saw you and were adorned with your love, for we also shall surely live. When Elijah was enveloped in the whirlwind, Elisha was filled with his spirit. He performed twice as many signs, and marvels with every utterance of his mouth. Never in his lifetime did he tremble before any ruler, nor could anyone intimidate him at all. Nothing was too hard for him, and when he was dead, his body prophesied. In his life he did wonders, and in death his deeds were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Fire goes before. consumes his adversaries on every side. 
His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of And all the peoples behold his glory. Let the just rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia. received the spirit which makes us God's children and in that spirit we call God our Father The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also are forgive our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 